Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Elo Bandit, and today I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on RBY 1v1, also known as Gen 1 1v1. At a glance, Gen 1 is a very small metagame. There's uh, about 12 to 14 viable Pokemon, depending on uh, what you consider viable. Um, it's a relatively top-heavy meta, uh, with most of the viable Pokemon um, all bunched together in the S and A ranks. This meta is considered closer to solved than any other 1v1 meta. One of the biggest advantages to Gen 1 1v1 is matchup clarity on Team Preview. Everything has a pretty well-defined list of Pokemon that it defeats and loses to. One of the biggest downsides of RBY 1v1 is that it is very luck dependent. It's a lot of rolls and secondary effect chances and crit chances. RBY is known as a much more RNG reliant generation than every other later gen of Pokemon, so that is reflected here in 1v1 as well. The most important and meta-defining Pokemon in RBY 1v1 is Snorlax. Showing up on two-thirds of every single team used in the RBY 1v1 Cup, uh, Snorlax is an absolutely dominating threat in RBY 1v1. It runs Body Slam on almost every single set, uh, Body Slam Snorlax giving it really just good odds into everything with Paralysis. Um, Hyper Beam can be added to Body Slam sets for the physical Snorlax. This allows it to 2-hit KO or threaten to 3-hit KO uh, important Pokemon like Tauros. And of course threatening every frail special attacker like Alakazam and Jolteon. Amnesia is my preferred boosting slot alongside uh, Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. Ice Beam is a little bit better in the mirror whereas Thunderbolt is better versus water types such as Starmie, and Blizzard is better versus Zapdos and Rhydon. Reflect is a strong option if you know you're going to be against physical attackers, but Amnesia boosting your special stat, which is your special defense and special attack stat in one, by two is, is really just uh, too good to pass up in most cases. Uh, the special Snorlax set forgoes Hyper Beam to instead run both Blizzard and Thunderbolt alongside Amnesia. Um, so this Snorlax can deal with those ground types, those flying types, and those water types all very effectively with its boosting amnesia and that special coverage. Uh, Body Slam, of course, still kept on the set to hit Alakazam, Jolteon, etc. Physical Snorlax with Ice Beam is so meta-defining that a lot of Pokemon are viable just because they defeat it, even if with slim odds. Physical Lax with Amnesia can trade out Ice Beam for Thunderbolt, in order to have a much better matchup versus Starmie and Articuno, which otherwise wall Ice Beam Snorlax. But you do drop odds in your winning matchups where you rely on Ice Beam Freezes to win a lot of the time. Special Snorlax is actually pretty similar. Um, it adds Blizzard to the Thunderbolt Amnesia set so that it can add Zapdos and Rhydon to its tally of winning matchups at the expense of no longer performing very well in the Mirror or versus Tauros and uh, just not having Hyper Beam for its strongest source of damage. Snorlax does have a couple of other options that are worth mentioning aside from the main sets. Reflect is pretty cool. If you want to take a step away from Amnesia plus special coverage, you can use Reflect and Snorlax's Stabs, Body Slam, Hyper Beam, and add a fourth coverage move that's either probably going to be Earthquake to hit Gengar, or Ice Beam to hit uh, Flying types and Grass types and whatnot and go for Freeze chances, or maybe even Toxic to try and hit a Chansey that's not running rest. Um, Snorlax also has the Substitute option. This is its best shot at taking down Chansey. Chansey is normally considered a hard wall to Snorlax, but if you are able to get yourself behind a Substitute and set up some Amnesias, you will eventually um, tank all of Chansey's Ice Beams. They'll run out of Ice Beam Power Points, and they can't freeze you if you're behind a Substitute. Then you have your own uh, Super Boosted Ice Beams to get a freeze of your own. So... Snorlax can run sub to tech Chansey, although it does give up several other important matchups in the process. Reflect Earthquake Snorlax actually has a fairly nice matchup spread here, uh, effectively dealing with both Gengar and Rhydon, um, as well as Tauros, um, provided that it's not running Leer. Substitute Snorlax picks up winning matchups versus Chansey and Zapdos, but it gives up Tauros, it gives up any shot at winning the Mirror, um, you're giving up Rhydon because you don't have Reflect, you're giving up Starmie because you don't have Thunderbolt, um, you're giving up so many other matchups uh, if you choose to, to flip that one Chansey matchup. Starmie had the second most usage in the RBY 1v1 tour, 
um, showing up on just over a third of teams. Starmy is particularly good at freeze fishing, um, running the combination of Ice Beam, Reflect, and Recover. Uh, Starmy is able to generate a whole lot of turns for the battle to go on for, especially versus physical attackers, and eventually get an Ice Beam Freeze. Freeze lasts forever in Gen 1, so getting a single freeze is a win condition. Thunderbolt Starmie is also quite good. It allows Starmie to become the anti-water water type of the tier. Starmie is fast enough to have a very high crit rate, and it can find special drops with Psychic. Ice Beam Starmie has easy wins versus Exeggutor, Rhydon, and Gengar. It can use Reflect and Recover to beat Snorlax, provided Snorlax doesn't have Thunderbolt, and it can use its water typing defensively to resist Articuno's Ice Beams. Reflect is also beating Tauros, and with enough Psychic Drops over the course of a battle, Starmie will also be defeating most Chansey. Starmie has to watch out for electric moves and faster special attackers. Jolteon, Zapdos, opposing Starmie with Thunderbolt, Toxic Alakazam, Thunderbolt, Snorlax, and Amnesia Slowbro all pose threats. If you're not too fussed about beating Exeggutor, or you don't care about fishing for freezes, Starmie can just run Thunderbolt instead of Ice Beam for wins versus opposing Starmie, Slowbro, and any other water types. Alakazam, arguably the second best Pokemon in the tier aside from Snorlax. Alakazam also broke one-third usage in the RBY 1v1 tour. All the sets will be running Psychic, combined with Alakazam's high speed, high crit rate, high special stat, um, going for drops and going for KOs versus um, every slower Pokemon and Toxic plus Recover allows it to also stall out very effectively. Typically, Substitute is preferred on the Toxic stall sets for the most effective um, stalling out of turns, but Reflect can also be used uh, to amplify some matchups versus physical attackers. Alakazam wins handily against Gengar and Exeggutor because you click Sub on their Leech Seed. You beat Chansey because you can Sub and Toxic them and Psychic until you drop their special stat. You beat Starmie with Toxic and Recover. You beat Jolteon, surprisingly enough. Despite Jolteon outspeeding Alakazam, uh, Psychic is a much more threatening move than Thunderbolt in, in that matchup. Uh, same thing going on with Zapdos. Uh, going for Psychic Spam is the best play. Um, Articuno, same thing. Just click Psychic over and over and hope for the best. Alakazam is losing to Body Slam Hyper Beam Snorlax, it's losing to Body Slam Hyper Beam Tauros, it's losing to uh, Earthquake Body Slam Rhydon, and it's also losing to Amnesia Slowbro. Alakazam has no real way to break through Amnesia Rest Slowbro. If you choose Reflect on Alakazam instead of Substitute, you're basically just trading out a win versus Toxic Chansey for a win versus Body Slam Rhydon. So now we can talk about Chansey. Chansey showed up on one out of four teams in the RBY 1v1 tour, usually using its Reflect set to stand in front of Snorlax and Tauros, uh, throw up a Reflect, turn one, uh, the physical attacker can barely scratch you for the rest of the match. Thunder Wave is preferred versus fast Pokemon like Tauros, whereas Thunderbolt is better versus all the water types and flying types. Uh, Soft Boiled is generally Chansey's best recovery option, although Rest enables it to get through toxic users. Ice Beam is Chansey's best single attack. If it's only going to be running one move for offense, Ice Beam is the way to go. It hits every type, hits a bunch of important types super effectively, and it has that 10% freeze chance, which of course in Gen 1 is a 10% win condition. Chansey can also run a move set based around the move Toxic. Toxic Chansey typically runs Rest to defeat other users of Toxic, and it can run Soft Boiled alongside Rest for maximum recovery, leaning fully into the stall archetype, or it can run Thunderbolt alongside Ice Beam for that very, very beautiful Bolt Beam coverage. Thunder Wave Chansey with Reflect has the best possible odds into Tauros, and it also effectively deals with Snorlax and Rhydon and Zapdos and Jolteon, provided Jolteon isn't running a very silly double kick set. Thunderbolt Chansey, meanwhile, drops the Tauros matchup down to about a coin flip, but adds Starmie and Articuno to its win list. Toxic Chansey with Soft Boiled is optimal into the Chansey Mirror and Zapdos. Toxic Chansey with Bolt Beam coverage effectively hits water types such as Starmie and flying types such as Articuno, while also defeating Rhydon, Slowbro, non-double-kick Jolteon, and non-substitute Alakazam. 
Coming in at just under a quarter usage, we have the S rank Tauros. Tauros is widely known as one of the most RNG based Pokemon in RBY 1v1, which is saying something. Due to its high speed stat, giving it a high crit rate, and body slam with its parachance, uh, Tauros is able to cheese its way through both winning and losing matchups. Leer is often preferred to slowly break down the defenses of bulkier Pokemon, whereas Fire Blast or Blizzard share very similar coverage versus grass types and can take out threats like Exeggutor much more reliably. Tauros will almost always be running Body Slam, Hyper Beam, and Earthquake for the high-powered stabs and the ability to hit rock types or use a physical move without fearing counter, which only works against normal and fighting moves. Leer Tauros can expect to win versus Gengar with Earthquake, Snorlax, Jolteon, Exeggutor, Rhydon, and Alakazam. Fire Blast Tauros actually does slightly better in the mirror matchup due to Fire Blast's high burn chance. Um, you also improve your matchup versus Exeggutor. The cost is worse odds versus Snorlax, Chansey, and Starmie. Zapdos is an incredibly powerful anti-meta threat in this tier. It almost always runs Thunderbolt and Drill Peck and Thunder uh, for maximum odds versus Tauros and versus Snorlax. Um, you'll see Thunder Wave chosen to defeat Alakazam or Reflect chosen for winning odds versus Snorlax. There is also a very funny Toxic set that can lure in and defeat Rhydon, provided that Rhydon isn't running rest. Triple Stab Zapdos with Thunder Wave is probably the all-around best set. Drill Peck is able to easily deal with Exeggutor, whereas Thunderbolt or Thunder tear right through Slowbro and Starmie and Gengar and Articuno and Alakazam. And you are going to be losing to Snorlax if you don't have Reflect, but you're generally only going to be able to push that up to around a coin flip with Reflect anyway, so it's generally fine to just run Thunder Wave. Toxic Zapdos gives up the Exeggutor, Tauros, and Mirror matchups just to lure in non-rest Rhydon. That's right, you flip a surefire loss into an 8 out of 10 win, and you get cheesed back if the Rhydon chooses to run rest. Zapdos and Jolteon hovering just above the 20% usage mark. Jolteon is considered the best Thunderbolter in the meta, um, with a blistering fast speed, super high crit chance, and um, supporting moves such as Rest, Toxic, Thunder Wave, Pin Missile, Tail Whip, Double Kick, and Hyper Beam offer uh, ways through Pokemon that would otherwise wall simple Thunderbolts. Thunder Wave plus Pin Missile Jolteon is my personal favorite, um, but if you don't care too much about beating Exeggutor, and if you would rather be Chansey lacking rest, you can go ahead and run uh, Toxic on the set. I think that's perfectly viable. Jolteon also has some physical options. If you choose to run uh, Tail Whip alongside Hyper Beam and Pin Missile, you can find some winning matchups uh, versus Alakazam and other Psychic types. And if you choose to run the super combination of Tail Whip, Rest, and Double Kick, you will effectively deal with every Chansey. Exeggutor pretty much only runs one set, which is Toxic, Leech Seed, Substitute, and Psychic. Rest is used only to win the Mirror matchup. Exeggutor does take advantage of RBY's unique Leech Seed system, uh, where Leech Seed's damage and healing is actually based off of Toxic's ramping damage, making Exeggutor a viable check to slow Pokemon such as Snorlax, um, provided that it actually lands both Toxic and Leech Seed. Exeggutor always beats Gengar just by clicking Psychic. Um, it easily sets up its Toxic Leech Seed combo on Rhydon, Slowbro, Chansey, and Snorlax. And it has an even mirror unless one of the Exeggutors is choosing to run Rest over Substitute, in which case the Exeggutor with Rest will outstall the one without. Exeggutor loses to the flying types, Articuno and Zapdos, as well as the Psychic types, Alakazam and Starmie. It also typically goes down to Tauros, especially if Tauros has Fire Blast, and to Jolteon running Pin Missile. Rhydon had about the same usage as Exeggutor. This Pokemon primarily runs three moves and then one of three options for its last move. Double Stabs alongside Body Slam give Rhydon the best odds into Alakazam. Bubble Beam optimizes the Mirror matchup. Ice Beam freeze fishes in a lot of losing matchups. And Rest can be used to defeat Toxic users. In addition to winning the mirror matchup, 
Bubble Beam Rhydon effectively defeats Gengar, Jolteon, Zapdos, Snorlax, Alakazam, and somehow coin flip Slowbro, provided Slowbro isn't running Surf. Ice Beam Rhydon trades out the winning mirror matchup for slightly better odds versus Chansey and Snorlax, among others. And Rest Rhydon effectively lures Toxic Zapdos, um, while once again giving up the Rhydon mirror. Slowbro is a bit of an odd duck in the RBY 1v1 meta, showing up on just over 1 out of 8 teams. Slowbro is typically running a counter Amnesia Rest set that can deal with both physical and special attackers, with Ice Beam almost always chosen as its singular attack. Um, it certainly can run Surf or Psychic, but Ice Beam's freeze chances are generally too strong to pass up. Straight out of OU, Slowbro can also bring a Thunder Wave Amnesia Rest Surf set that relies much less on secondary effects from Ice Beam and much more on getting Paralysis with Thunder Wave immediately and following it up with boosted stabs. Slowbro is winning versus opposing Psychic types like Alakazam, Starmie, and opposing Slowbro lacking Ice Beam. Um, it can use Ice Beam to Freeze Fish versus Chansey, and it effectively uses Counter versus Tauros. Um, while Counter does not work very well against Rhydon, you can always just click Ice Beam over and over. Ice Beam Slowbro is losing to Electric Attackers, Leech Seeders, and Ice Beam Resists, as well as most Snorlax. Psychic can be used instead of Ice Beam to flip Gengar from a loss into a win, since you can simply Psychic it down before it can Thunderbolt you down. And lastly, Surf can be used for the best possible Rhydon matchup, uh, Thunder Wave on the set also helping out, turning Snorlax from a loss into a rough coin flip. Articuno is a very underrated attacker, uh, sitting at just under 6% usage. This Pokemon is genuinely very powerful. In terms of meta coverage, it is very similar to Starmie, and it has basically just one set that it uses here, Double Ice Attack plus uh, Rest and Reflect, allowing it to Freeze Fish very, very effectively versus all the physical attackers of the tier, uh, especially Snorlax lacking Thunderbolt. Articuno has a very defined set of wins and losses. It's almost always defeating Exeggutor and Chansey because Chansey has no way to freeze it since it's an ice type. Um, you're almost always beating Snorlax, provided it's not Thunderbolt. You're almost always beating Rhydon, provided you don't get crit by Rock Slide. Um, you're almost always beating Tauros, unless it super crits youth and gets Paras. Um, on the other side, Articuno is losing to basically anything with an electric attack. Uh, you're suffering against Jolteon, you're suffering against Starmie, um, Snorlax can be Thunderbolt and defeat you. Uh, you have trouble defeating uh, Thunderbolt Gengar and Thunderbolt Zapdos. Um, Alakazam has a winning matchup versus Articuno just by clicking Psychics. And uh, Slowbro also is resisting Ice Beam and Blizzard, and it can eventually amnesia up and beat you. A criminally underrated and underused Pokemon in RBY 1v1, Gengar is a fantastic check to Snorlax since they almost never run Earthquake. It doesn't really have any usable stabs because Poison and Ghost are physical in Gen 1, but it does have brilliant special coverage. Psychic and Thunderbolt um, mimic something like Starmie where you can both fish for drops and find super effective hits versus uh, flying types. Um, rest is essential on the set um, so that you can uh, heal off status and outstall things that can only chip away at you due to your typing. Uh, Confuse Ray is optimal versus Snorlax, uh, whereas Toxic is optimal versus Chansey. Gengar has winning matchups versus Slowbro not running Psychic, Chansey, Articuno, and Snorlax lacking Earthquake. Hitmonlee is a uniquely fascinating case. This Pokemon only had 3.72 usage, and for good reason. It only really beats two things. This Pokemon has a winning matchup versus Snorlax and a winning matchup versus Chansey. That's it. However, it has the best matchup versus Snorlax. If you really think for sure that your opponent will bring and click Snorlax, your best bet is to use Hitmonlee. High Jump Kick plus Jump Kick plus Rolling Kick plus Meditate give this Pokemon better odds than any other Pokemon at defeating the best thing in the meta, which is Snorlax. The last Pokemon I'd like to talk about is Flareon. Flareon actually wasn't used at all during the RBY 1v1 tour, uh, I came up with it after the fact, but I wanted to share it with you now. Flareon is a fire attacker that uses Fire Blast, Reflect, uh, Hyper Beam, and some combination of Leer or Body Slam uh, to defeat a surprising list of Pokemon. 
Flareon is chosen over any other fire type because it is a pure fire type. It doesn't have to worry about um, an extra flying typing as a detriment. And it also has the highest attack stat of any fire type, giving it uh, the strongest hyper beam and body slam. It has the second highest special attack of any fire type, losing out only to Moltres, which has that very bad, no good flying type attached. Flareon wins versus Articuno, Exeggutor, Alakazam, and boasts winning odds versus Snorlax. It loses to Rhydon, Water Types, Chansey, Jolteon, Zapdos, Tauros, and Gengar, but having such a strong matchup into the normal plus psychic archetype means that this Pokemon is potentially viable. For much more information on RBY1v1, please check out Merman's channel. He has all sorts of in-depth content regarding this old gens metagame, um, so if you really want to understand everything that every Pokemon can possibly do, uh, there is a link on your screen right now. Go check out Merman's channel. Also, feel free to check out the RBY 1v1 resource page, linked below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something about RBY 1v1, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.